it's not that difficult, but for some reason, I messed up the application. <laughs> I have a little bit of glow from Cougar, and I have a little bit of glow from Texas Heat. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my June Boxy Charm box here for you today. So as usual, I've tried out the products in this box. So I'll be able to kind of run through and give some little mini reviews, first impressions on these products, and just kind of give you my overall thoughts and impressions on this month's box. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the theme this month is Girls Just Wanna Have Sun. It says salt in the air and sand in your hair. So that is super cute. And then it lists all the products on the back. I really like that they do this. I think it just, you know, gives you information and it's cute and themed and it's a nice little extra. First off in my box, I got some masks. These are the Pharmacy Coconut Gel Masks and this is the Medley, so you get a three pack. They're a full size and they're a value of $24 and it says this coconut gel mask provides intensive hydration and restores the skin's natural balance, helping even skin tone and improve overall clarity. So like I said, it comes with three. I used one of them already and I do really like it. Um, it's kind of funny. You need to be smarter than I was and actually read the directions. It's not that difficult, but for some reason, I messed up the application. <laughs> so what you're supposed to do, like what I did is I just opened it and put the thing on my face and I was like, this is the thickest sheet mask I've ever used. It's because it's in between little like plasticky things to keep it in one piece. So don't do that. Just read the directions. You're supposed to unpeel it and then apply it and then peel the other side anyway. So then it becomes like a regular sort of sheet mask. Um, it smelled really good. It smelled like coconut, and but not like super duper strong coconut. But then also it, it felt really slimy. Like the actual mask was very slimy. So I thought when I took it off and rubbed it into my skin, my skin would feel like super duper hydrated. And it was hydrated and felt nice, but not crazy hydrated. So I would say like, I don't know, I'm kind of like combo oily skin, especially in the summer. So if you're more like my skin type, you may really like these where it's like hydrating, but not overly, you know what I mean? But I was just a little bit shocked and I was expecting more hydration since it says hydrating coconut. You know what I mean? But anyway, it smelled nice and it was a nice mask. Then I got something that I was really expecting to like a lot and I just sort of like it. Like I don't dislike it, but I'm not blown away by it. This is the Ofra Oil Control Pressed Powder. It's a full size and it's a value of $39.95. So it's a pricey powder and I love Ofra products. Like pretty much everything I've tried from them, I really, really like. But this, I use this today, like at the beginning of the day, it's later on in the day now. I used it earlier and it kind of like left a white cast on my face, but I probably used too much. So that's probably part of the problem but I didn't notice like a ton of oil control happening. Like I didn't notice that I got less oily today than I normally do. You know what I mean? So I think it's okay, but I'm not like blown away by it, especially for $40. So if it were like $20 or $15, maybe I would like it more, but next time I try it, I'm gonna use less of it and see if I like it better. See if it has less of that, that like white cast and how the oil control works that way. Maybe I just use too much, but it's just okay. Next I got an eyeliner. This is the Galactic Precise Eyeliner Marker. It's a full size and it's a value of $20. And it says this precision marker eyeliner's soft and precise tip is designed to create the, the perfect dramatic line. The formula is weightless, long lasting, water resistant, smudge proof, and lies comfortably on the eye with no pulling or tugging. So I use this today and I do like the way that it looks. I really like the way it applied. Let me show you like, it's like that, you know, bendy marker sort of a tip where I like these sort of markers, like where it's, it's got the precision, but then it also like sort of bends as you're using it. So it just gives you, I don't know. I feel like it's more user friendly to use. You know what I mean? But what I did notice, like I'm not noticing smudging today and I've been wearing this most of the day now. It's not smudging on my eyes, but when I did put this on my hand when I first got it and then kind of like put my hand under water and wiped, it pretty much mostly came off. So I wouldn't say this is water resistant, 
I would just say it's a long wearing liner, you know, where it's, it is wearing well on my eyes, but my eyes haven't really been watering a lot today. I think if I was like full on crying or allergy situation or something, I don't know that this would like last through that. But I do really like how black it is, how easy it is to apply. It's a nice liner. It's probably just not maybe going to be the longest wearing one out there. Then I got a nail polish and it's the one that I'm wearing today and I love this. This is the LVX Nail Lacquer. It's a full size and it's a value of $18. It says this long lasting chip resistant and gel like formula is free of the five toxic and harsh chemicals found in most common nail lacquer formulas. LVX is devoted to providing you with top quality, socially responsible, vegan friendly products. So I've gotten one of these polishes from this brand before in BoxyCharm and I really, really liked that one. I like this one even more because of the color. The other one I got was like a creamy yellow and it was really, really pretty, but I love these sort of colors even more. This is in the shade Serene and it's just a really beautiful, like light, dusty, cornflower blue kind of a shade. And I just love it. So pretty. It applied really well. This does come off. So then it's like a regular, which I like because then it makes it easier to apply. So it applied easily. Um, it really could have just been fine with one coat, but I went ahead and did two, but I really like the way it went on my nails. It looks really nice. It's wearing well. I love that it's five free, so I really, really like this. Lastly, I got a highlighter sort of a product. This is the Cougar Beauty Mineral Face and Body Shimmer. It's a full size and it's a value of $16. It says this mineral face and body shimmer is formulated using feather-like shimmering minerals, adding a radiant sparkle when lightly brushed anywhere on the body. Great for adding a little extra sparkle to any look. So I'm wearing this as my highlight today, and I really do like this. So I don't know if this has if there are different shades, but this says Cougar. Cougar, well, no, that's the brand. Cougar is the brand, and then it says Mineral Face and Body Shimmer, and it looks like my shade that I got is Diamond Kiss. Now, it did come and it like, had kind of powder everywhere, so I don't know why that happened. Maybe it was just slightly opened already, but my this one's a very yellowy color, so I don't know if other people got different shades, but mine was a very yellowy highlight which I was a little nervous about, but actually I think it works really well. Especially if you have kind of like a peachy sort of blush, it just makes a really like summery, sun-kissed sort of look. And I like the formula on it. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a good swatch. Let me try to get a better swatch. So here it is on my hand, so you can kind of see it like right in here. So it's really pretty. I mean, it's interesting because it looks very yellow in the container but it just like blended into my skin really well. So I like the formula of it. It seems to be a really like finely milled, nice sort of product that just really becomes one with your skin. So I really do like this. I probably look extra glowy today because I'm hot. It is hot up in this house. I just turned on the AC, but I'm still halfway sweating. So I have a little bit of glow from Cougar, and I have a little bit of glow from Texas Heat. Okay, so I just added up the value of my box and it is $117.95, so a really good value there. I would say that my favorite things are the nail polish and the highlighter, um, and the masks are pretty nice too. So pretty good bo box this month, but not like my very, very favorite, but I still love BoxyCharm. Um, but honestly, I mean, Ipsy has been really stepping up their game recently. So I would say that they're neck and neck for me right now. So I really enjoy them both. So I will leave my link down below for BoxyCharm if you wanna sign up. You don't have to use my link if you don't want to, but thank you so much if you do. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you got in your BoxyCharm if you subscribe to them, or let me know what your favorite product was that you got in your box. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.